Welcome back everyone. I'm going to talk about the Insta360 again and it's just about getting your footage into Final Cut. Yes, it could be Premiere, it could be anything else. I'm just going to go into that and how you use it. And I'm not talking necessarily about the plain video footage, it's more the pro footage. So the video footage, for instance, let's go to files, is this vid here, which is just ready to rock and roll. If I drop that onto my timeline, it's just there. It's a very dark image, <laughs> we were doing, yeah. It's just a very dark image, so don't worry about that too much. But that's right, it's just standard format, it's ready to rock and roll. If I take one of the other videos, for instance, which is more of a tiny planet, this was shot in pro mode. So let's go and drop this across into Final Cut. And you will see it looks a bit like a world. Not brilliant to look at, but we can do things with that if we want to. So if we go down to here and we say it's a 360 projection mode, it already knows that. We can turn it into there, we can turn it around, and now we've got a z-axis roll, but we can move it around and get it into position. But it's still, we haven't got the stabilization in there or anything else that's been done. Unless you've got a specific need and you want trying to show something off, I wouldn't do that to be fair. I would drop your files into the Insta360 Studio. And this is that particular file there. And we, we've got all the modes. We can drop it into 9x16 if we want to. So it's in that format. We can drop it back into 16x9. We've got the options on here, flow stabilization. So the pro mode's obviously keeping the horizon line level, which is great, that's what we want. We could do FPV stabilization, um, but actually it's the flow state that works for me in this particular bit. The FPV, it is gonna catch it as it moves. I'm not interested in that. So we've got ultra wide, we've got action view, we've got linear, and we've got narrow. So choose what you wanna use. Media, Aquavision, that's for going underwater. We're not interested in that. Voice, I'm not really interested in. And it tells you all a bit onto that. So if you just play that through. Pretty nice footage, to be fair. And that's at 50 frames. Because I've been recording 50 frames, so I've got the option to slow down slightly if I want to. Uh, and capture it a little bit crisper. So now I'm going to export this. I'm going to whack the bitrate right up because why not? I'm not really worried about space. Color Plus, we could add that in. Uh, that really does make it pop. I'm not going to do that um, because I'm going to do that afterwards in Final Cut. And I'm just exporting to the desktop there. And as you can see, that's going through. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is not just this is how you do it. But if you're considering getting one of these, how do you use it? You might want to know that little bit extra. So I appreciate this isn't going to be applicable to everyone, but actually I think it's a good little thing to know. But I will edit these up. So I'll edit them in batch, I'll go through, I'll select all the different ones that I want and edit them and then select them and export them all in one go, go off and make a copy or whatever else. It's probably the best way of doing that for this particular thing as well. The other thing is that I am using this straight off the Insta. I haven't copied it anywhere. So obviously things are going to be a little bit slower um, than if I'd have copied onto my SSD and was working off that. Okay, we're back, thank God. Opening folder. <clears throat> Let's drag this file into Final Cut now. And there we go. And now it's exported correctly. It's in there, it's looking good. I can add a bit of color correction if I want to. <laughs> we copying. There we go. Lovely. How easy is that? So you've got flexibility. If you want flexibility, you've got easiness. If you want easiness as well, which is what I normally go for. I like that Insta app. It's easy to edit. It's exactly the same features as what's on the mobile phone app. Um, it just means I can do it on the desktop and just export it and have it all done. 
and not worrying about mobile phones and transferring data and everything else as well. Hope that's helped a bit and look forward to seeing you in future ones. Like and subscribe if you want to see some more. Yeah.